What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today we're just doing like a very chill hangout with me, <laughs> redecorate, not really slash clean vlog. It's really just like spend time with me. We spend time together type of vlog. So anyway, I just got back from a really long trip. No, what am I talking about? A really long trip. Long enough. I got back from a trip where I went to go see family and it was really fun. Um, and it was yeah, it was good. It was only like one night, but it was really good. And I got to spend time with my aunt and uncle and stuff. And so if you don't know, my aunt and uncle are the ones who took me in after my parents passed away. And so I got to spend time with them. Anywho, <laughs> that's what I've been doing. Um, I've had a really, really good filming day. Also, can we talk about the fact that I'm back vlogging? Okay. I had a really good filming day on Friday. And so Saturday was like my Sabbath. I didn't really do anything on Saturday. And I always take a day of rest every single week. And so though today is Sunday, I'm filming this vlog and I'm just kind of like getting my house together. So a few things on the list that I want to get done. I'm thankful my house started cleaning, so that's not something I have to put on the list. Love coming home to a clean house. Thank you. Thank you. If you know me, then you know this has not always been a desire of mine, which shows how much things can change. But anyway, on the list today is I really want to go ahead and meal prep my food. So I saw this girl on TikTok and she was talking about how on Thursdays she actually treat she was like, does your weekend feel super short? Does it feel like you need more days in your weekend? I was like, yes, yes, yes. And so she was like, treat Thursdays as your, um, as your Sunday. And I was like, hmm, okay. And so I tried it this week and I'm really thankful that I did because I went grocery shopping, I went to Costco, which I know Costco on a freaking Saturday is almost a nightmare. So I went to Costco on Thursday, got so much good stuff, got stuff for Christian, um, and just got a ton of good stuff for the week. Um, I have already eaten some of it, but that's neither here nor there. But, so I'm just gonna be meal prepping today. I wanna, it's not nothing fancy. I eat the same thing pretty much every week. And so I'm just gonna be like meal prepping that stuff, like broccoli or like greens or a salad or some type of veggie, some type of green veggie, um, some type of starch, which is usually like a slice of bread that I normally have or a potato, like half of a potato or something. So I think I'm gonna meal prep some of that stuff. And then um, the chicken and stuff is already done because I got it from Costco and it's like, you know, like already made, but you kind of, you gotta like prep it, whatever. So yeah, that's that's the plan. Um, I may make ground turkey just to have like variety. I'll probably do that because if I don't have variety, <laughs> let's be real, I'm not gonna stick to it. So I'm probably gonna do that. I need to go ahead and defrost that then out of the freezer. So that's number one. Number two is I am really working on getting my filming set up how I really want it to be. So I live in a one bedroom apartment, which I absolutely love. I think it's the most gorgeous apartment I've ever lived in and one of the most gorgeous apartments I've ever seen before. Um, it has like these beautiful like floor to ceiling windows. The ceiling is like 13 foot or something or something crazy. And so it's like a beautiful, okay? So it's like floor to ceiling, but the ceiling's even higher. So it's like boom, boom, like double ceiling. It's really nice. So I love this apartment. However, it is a one bedroom apartment. So I don't have a ton of space to set up like a filming room or a filming space, etc. So I kind of just like use what I got, which I recommend you to do as well if you're a content creator and struggling with this um so that's why I'm literally sitting in my room like I don't really do but I have this lighting set I'm about to get a new light so that I can kind of you'll see we'll, we'll do another vlog on that like new kind of filming situation is what it'll be called or something like that but I want to go through I have a coat closet in the front and be honest whenever I moved in I threw everything in there like all my backdrops um I have just like a ton of stuff in there that I want to go ahead and get out I have a vacuum cleaner that I'm giving to Christian a ton of stuff that I just want again like up and out and so I'm gonna be going through that as well as I need to post a reel and I also need to I want to um, I'm trying to switch my mindset on that stuff but yeah I want to um, edit this like welcome to the program video for my infinite audience program that I filmed on Friday because it was like really cute and really good and so I'm like super excited to like get it up get it edited and get it uploaded and into the actual coaching portal for our new clients and stuff that are coming in and so Anyway, if you guys want to know more about Infinite Audience, if you want to know about more about the program, then just go to andreadenise.com slash infinite. So anyway, um, I think what I'm about to do is I kind of want to take a shower. Just like coming back from out of town, I'm like, ugh. But I think, let's, let's go put up the groceries first, actually. So also, I'm probably going to do my dishes. I just want everything clean for the week. So yeah. Also, it is so weird because Dash is in here. Dash is still in his dog sitter and his dog sitter is not getting back to her house for a while. So I can't even go pick up Dash. 
so I don't like this. I don't like being by myself in here. This is weird. But anyway, yeah, I just got oranges. I got some potter toes. <laughs> I got um, some cotton candy grapes, which are really good. And I got Christian some too. Mm. Got Christian some too because he's literally always talking about them and they didn't have them last time at Sprouts. And so I got him, I got him some this time. And then I just got some lettuce. And I got me some pineapple Paul. So that's it. And then everything else, like I told you guys, I already have. And so I'm just gonna put this stuff up and then go take a shower. Who do you pray on my weakness? Satisfying you as I keep bleeding. I don't know. Y'all, so I'm about to post a reel. Hey sis, it does not matter how many people are doing exactly what you want to do. If God has called you to it, it will make room for you, okay? You are uniquely gifted, so lean into it and give it all you've got, all right? We're ready to see it. Give it all you got, including hey, me. Sis, this is a message for me as well. Exactly what you want to do. I was trying to put the captions on here yesterday. Now I could have sworn I typed this out yesterday and I don't think it saved it. How annoying. The reason why I'm about to post this is because I feel like I have been giving my power away by <laughs> like blaming everything and everybody else, right? When it comes to content, I have definitely overthought my content within the last year for multiple reasons. I kind of was like, I was going through a lot mentally. I was going through a lot just like, just spiritually and in every aspect of life, I felt like I was not being attacked. I felt like I was being refined and I was, it was like a development season for me. That's that's how I'm choosing to look at it over this past year. It was like a development season. Um, and I talked about this in one of my other videos, which I'll like link um, in this video for you or in the description box, but it's just been an interesting season. And so anyway, as I'm coming out of that season and into like this new like re-up, Re, re imagined, <laughs> uh, reinvented, um, rejuvenated, all the other re words as I'm coming into that type of season. Like, um, I'm taking my power back and taking it back in terms of like, I am not powerless in the situation of weight loss, I am not powerless in the situation of my content. And when it comes to content, like I said, I've just been overthinking it, and so I'm literally forcing myself to not literally overthink it and just saying, Andrea, post the freaking reel and move on. That's it. That's it. There is no other option. And that's what I've been doing with working out too. Like I schedule it in my day. Doesn't matter how I feel, get your butt up and go to the gym. That's it. And then after I'm done with the gym, I'm good. So the less I, I can sit and like contemplate, like do I need to go to the gym or do I want to go to the gym? Do I not want to go to the gym? Doesn't matter what you want. Get up. So same when it comes to content, <laughs> like I feel like I'm just being very, very real with myself in this recent season. And so, yeah, I feel like comparison and imposter syndrome and just like me overthinking like my content definitely got the best of me. And so that's why I'm vlogging right now on this random Sunday at like, what time is it? It's two o'clock. I thought it was 12, oh my God. At two o'clock, um, as we just like chill together and hang out together and kind of prep for our week together. And so, yeah, just, I'm not taking my content so seriously taking my content and like allowing it to be fun and enjoyable like it used to be so anyway that's my little spiel let me write this caption then i'm about to hop in the shower and then we'll kind of like get started with the rest of our day y'all that shower was freaking everything i had like the light on i have a lamp in my bathroom so i had that on setting the vibes up I had the eucalyptus it was a bomb shower now i'm about to go pick up bubba Finally, because I miss my little baby. <laughs> Look who's back, you guys. Look who's here. Little Baba, who wants his little treat. Hey, all right. All right. Okay, get a little piece on your tongue, and then you'll get some after you get this little cleaning that we're about to do. There you go, eat it up. 
he stinks so and i just got the shower so i don't want to give him like a full shower because i don't want to get dirty because i just got a shower so he's getting one of these waterless shampoo shower things Ooh, smells like watermelon right baba hi boo boo I know, it's uncomfortable, but you'll be okay. You're so cute. Missed you? I missed you, sweetums. I missed you. Oh, you're the cutest. You're the cutest. Oh, you're going to at least smell somewhat good. Roll over. Good boy. Yay, high five. Good boy. Spin. Spin. <laughs> Good boy. Y'all know what time it is. It's time to clean. Let's get to cleaning. I need to empty out my dishwasher. And I'm going to get all the dishes. And all the stuff in the refrigerator. That's not supposed to be in the refrigerator no more. Into the sink. And then from the sink to the dishwasher. But first, I got to clear out the dishwasher. So, you time lapse. like letting them let me show y'all just like letting them um dry for a minute so i'm just gonna kind of like roll them around so they are like all even and they're all touching the towel in some way of course this is a clean towel nobody freak out um so yeah just like making sure they're completely dry this is the tip this is the key okay this is the key if you want them to last long in your refrigerator in your refrigerator in your refrigerator okay if you want them to last long in the fridge you need to be sure they're washed and i like to go ahead and dry them and then when i stick them in the bag they're good to go and they literally will last so long so well, i'm gonna eat them before they can last long but y'all know what i mean all right all right so yeah i'm just gonna kind of like let these lay out for a minute while i go ahead and wash my baby cucumbers i think what i'm gonna do for these i'm gonna put these and apple cider vinegar so on like the meal plan that i'm that i'm having i can have a, not unlimited raw vegetables but pretty much um and so i use this as like a snack and then i put it in apple cider vinegar because i can also have unlimited apple cider vinegar <laughs> yum and so i mix them together and pretty much it kind of creates like a pickled effect if you just like close your eyes and like turn your head a little bit so anyway that's what I'm doing. That's like a, a nice, healthy snack that I like to eat throughout the week. Um, and funny enough, my dad, when I was little, used to actually make like cucumber salad like that. But I'm, I swear it was not with apple cider vinegar. I know it was with something else, less strong. But anyway, that's what I'm going to go with. But yeah, so he used to make it. It used to be like so good in the refrigerator and it was just something to like eat. And so it kind of like brings me back to like my childhood with my dad and stuff. And so anyway... Anyway, you know what? Let me go ahead. I'm gonna let these dry actually, and I'm gonna go ahead and prep these. I literally just set that, but I forgot that quick. So, y'all, I'm like really enjoying vlogging today. I'm like really enjoying vlogging. Like, we're chilling. Chilling. I'm in the house for the rest of the day, okay? Christian uh, is filming a wedding right now. So that means I especially ain't got nothing to do. So, I was like, cool, I'm about to like prep for my week. Like, 
I don't know, that trip made me so tired. I was so tired, like on the way down there. I don't know, I just needed like a chill day. Like I really require a chill day every week where your girl gets a little grumpy. And nobody, nobody likes a grumpy Andrea, not even me. So, like to be sure, I'm taking my rest days, taking my Sabbath, like the Lord commanded. So yeah, so anyway, I'm just going to, let me just twist it on and show y'all. I'm literally just prepping these. I'm not prepping the whole bag. Like, there's tons in the bag. I'm not going to do the whole bag because last time I didn't eat the whole bag. I may add one more. Yeah, I may add one more to make it even. Okay. And I'm just going to, like, slice them up and then just eat them throughout the week. But I just don't want these to go bad. So I'm like, do I need to prep these too? I don't know. Okay. I'm trying to see how these people are. It's like recipes on the back. Anyway, these are really good. If y'all haven't tried these out, these are really good. I've gotten them from Sprouts. I've gotten them from Kroger. It's literally like, I got them from Costco. They're, they're literally just baby cucumbers. So I think I got these from Costco, I think. I'm really excited to get back with content. Again, like I said before, I was being very, very, very in my head about my content. And I was comparing myself so much to other YouTubers that I love and like comparing myself to their growth and their journey, et cetera. And sometimes when we do that, like we can forget, where are the bags? We can forget that like, yo, this whole time you've been comparing, a whole time you've been like, dang, look where she at, look where he at, whatever. You haven't been producing, you've only been focusing on them. And with that, you're not gonna even achieve like, your goal is not to be like where they are, but you're not even gonna it, like go to like get to your goal because you're so busy looking at somebody else's lane. And so anyway, that's kind of, if I'm being very honest with you guys, that's kind of been where I've been. And just trying to get out of that, like just trying to get out of that, like there's so much room for all of us here. And I know that in my head. So it's not necessarily that, it's more so like, oh, but I want my content to be really good. I want it to be like this, I want it to be like that. And it's like, Andrea, like, show up as you, boo. Show up as you, honey. So, it's not even the show up as you part though. It's more so just like, I want my content to look a certain way. And sometimes when it doesn't, I get kind of down on myself or I'm like, what do I even talk about? And for a while I felt like the enemy was trying to convince me that I had nothing to say and trying to like quiet me. And whenever I felt like attacked against that for a while, I kind of fed into that. I kind of like leaned into that. And then there was a day and I just, I, I felt so unaligned. I've talked about this before with you guys, but, um, I felt so unaligned, but then I was like, I, like where God or where the enemy is attacking me is usually like if the enemy is attacking you in some place, it's because it's a threat. And so like my voice and my like my communication and like me talking with you guys and creating content, that's a threat to the enemy. And that just shows me that that's exactly what God means me to be doing. And I asked for confirmation and boy, I think I shared this on my Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, follow me on Instagram. Um, so we can continue the conversation over there, but I was just like, y'all, I was praying for a sign, and when I tell y'all, God slapped me in the face with this sign. In the face, okay? Ow! Thank you, got it, God. Thank you. Uh, so, anyway, I got what I prayed for. Big up what you prayed for, boo. But, no, but seriously, it was something that I needed. It was kind of just like a wake-up call. And, like, there's so many people out here creating content imperfectly. And I think that's the thing. For so long, I felt like, oh, I need to have a certain amount of makeup on. I need to, like, look like this or whatever. Always have my house clean. That's not realistic. My house is clean right now. But my house isn't even, like, clean, clean right now. Like, honestly, I want... That's like a paper's going behind me. This watermelon just sitting on the freaking counter. Like, but I'm like, you know what? We gonna show up. We're, we're gonna show up because we are family. And sometimes like family, if, if family needs to come in, you don't be like, wait until my house is clean or whatever. And so I'm just trying to do the same kind of approach within my content. My grapes are all bagged up and good to go. So then all I gotta do is a blue. And grab it and go okay so yeah that's it and these are the little like snack thingy my bobs is what i have y'all see my little um gnat traps i'm on a i'm literally on a mission to get all the gnats out of my freaking house and i saw this as like a diy recipe it's like sugar apple cider vinegar uh and dish soap and then they pretty much go in there and then they die which is really sad but yeah just don't come in my house and you wouldn't die so anyway there you go 
Um, and then I poured bleach down my drain too. So that's the update on the gnats. Random update. <gasps> yes! Uh, <laughs> I got a watermelon! Oh my goodness. Uh, I learned on TikTok how to cut water, or how to pick a watermelon. And I was hoping and praying, because there was one time I did it and it was perfect. And there was another time I did it, and it was freaking horrible. So I was hoping and praying this time it was gonna be amazing. And it was, thank you, professional watermelon picker. That's what you can call me. All right, so here's our fridge as of right now. It is not as aesthetically pleasing as I would like, but I am grateful. Y'all ever just grateful you got food in your refrigerator? Like, what? So, I have waters down there, and I have this big old thing of water over here. Why did I get this right now? I don't, I don't really know, so there's that. But cucumbers, I have some little, like, cutie oranges, whatever. Lettuce, watermelon, cucumbers. Then I have um, pineapple, Paul, straws. Um, these are cotton candy grapes. These are for Christian, but then y'all know I just prepped my grapes. They're back there. Um, and then I'll give these to him later, but, oh, uh, I don't know what this is, but I got this from Costco. We're going to see if this is good. It's just like rotisserie chicken, shred it. And then I got those like chicken skewers all the way back there that are super good. And then up here, don't worry about that. That's not aesthetic at all. So anyway, <laughs> that's the refrigerator. Okay, you guys. So I actually need to go ahead and, um, I want to edit this video because it's just gonna be super cute i'm really excited for what it's gonna look like and stuff i've been updating my channel updating the program updating a lot of different things and so i'm just really excited about like all the updates we've been making if you haven't seen my new website be sure you go view it okay andreadenise.com that's it uh Andre, andreadenise.com and it's brand new it looks so good i actually did it myself so not to toot my own horn baby but toot toot honey because it looks so freaking good and I'm just overall really proud of like the fact that I did it and I was able to build it the way I wanted to build it like what I had envisioned in my mind it looks actually 10 times better than that and so just the vibe just the vibe that I wanted and the way I wanted to show up online it's it's giving what it's supposed to give so if you haven't seen it go see it but do me a favor and look it up on your like laptop or your desktop or something like that like your computer just because it's so much different than on the phone <laughs> Excuse me. So, y'all, so the clips that I need are actually on this memory card. So I need to take this memory card out, but then I'll see you guys in a second because I gotta take this memory card out to grab the footage from this memory card, put it into my computer, upload that, do all that stuff, and then use the same memory card to go back to vlogging. So I didn't really think that through. But that's okay. So yeah, because y'all probably don't want to just sit here and watch me like be on my computer the whole time. I'm literally just about to be like editing this clip and I'll show you guys like, a little snippet of it. And if, again, if you guys are interested in the Infinite Audience program or what it's even what it even is and how it can help you if you're a business owner or an entrepreneur or a content creator and you want to learn how to really leverage the power of YouTube and video content, like high converting video content, then this is the program for you. So check it out. I absolutely love it. Okay, doors um, are not always open and closed. So what I will say is be sure that if doors are open and you can get in, get in, okay? Because usually we have a wait list. So keep that in mind as you guys are looking into the program. But if that's something that interests you, I definitely advise you to check it out. Then that way you can come work with us. We have uh, monthly coaching calls. We have a Facebook group. You can really like get to, get to talk with us a little bit more, a little bit, a lot of it more within your business and have our eyes actually on your content, on your business and on your marketing. So if that's something again that you're interested in, check it out. Um, and also when you check it out, you can actually get access to our free private training that will really walk you guys through what it's like to work with us, what it's like um, inside of the program and what the program really entails. Plus an act, the actual training, like literally is out is an actual training to talk about the power of YouTube and the power of video marketing. And so anyway, check that out. It's completely free training. I could I could use some help. 
that's yellow. Red is like, oh my God, again, abort mission, get out of here, run away. I am in dire need of help and I'm confused and I'm burnt out and any other big, big things that are going on, all right? What I want you to promise me and promise yourself is that you will raise your hand the moment you enter into the yellow zone, not the moment you enter into the red zone. I want you to raise your hand, wave your hand, scream for help when you get to- Hey y'all, so I finished the video, it looks really good. It's like a 16 minute video. It's I just wanted something very professional. Like I told you guys, I've been updating really everything within the brand. And so I just wanted that to be like, like the overview. It's like, a, again, a 16 minute, like detailed video of what to expect in the program, keys to success, etc. cetera. Um, and I just wanted to look really good within the program. So I was so excited. And so it's literally uploading to Vimeo now. I put all of my um, trainings and stuff on Vimeo, not YouTube. And so, Yes. And so yeah, it's opening the video now that I'm gonna add it into the program and then we're good to go, honey. And now one thing I've been working on is really like I feel like I've been doing a lot of back end stuff and the back end stuff obviously is needed here and there. However, if you're using back end stuff to avoid the big you know, things that you really need to do in your business to move the needle forward, then that's a bigger problem. And so if you have not been creating content but you've or like doing anything within your marketing for your marketing to lead to sales and to again move the needle forward however you've been doing back-end stuff then that's something you have to really like look at to be like okay um i need to shift some things around so that's where i'm at is i feel like while i was resting while i was kind of you know taking a break while our program was kind of on like doors close let's work with people we have and really like you know cultivate those relationships that we have um Sorry, I got distracted. But while we were doing that, um, I was working on back end stuff. Like I updated my website. I completely redid my website. I didn't even updated my website. Completely redid my website. Completely redid my my back end funnels. Um, and got all the back end stuff. And so now I have no more excuse not to show up in content. So you guys can hold me accountable, honey. Um, I probably will forget I said that, but hold me accountable and we'll go forward. So anyway, you guys, I am chilling for the rest of the day. Sorry, the lighting is kind of, the lighting's like good slash weird. Anyway, um, so yeah, I'm really chilling for the rest of the night. Thank you guys for hanging out with me. Um, if you like these vlogs, please, please, please give me some comments, some feedback, some something, so I know to continue to make these type of vlogs. I had a lot of fun filming it today. It was just literally us hanging out, literally us hanging out. Um, and so yeah. If you have any questions or again want to join the infinite audience program um enrollment will actually be open pretty soon and so but depending on when you see this video be sure you head over there um to see if you can get in and see if the doors are open so yeah they should be but yes so anyway um that's that i'm gonna end the vlog here you guys thank you so much for hanging out with me i love you guys to the moon and back and remember i am always rooting for you i'll see y'all in the next video Thank you.